everyone, this is Karen Fomafo, your Agile Evangelist, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will be talking about how to successfully fail your interview. <laughs> this is going to be very interesting, so please watch till the end. I'm very sure this will be very helpful to you. Well, before we go into the topic, if this is your first time here, you're very welcome. Um Turn on that subscription button and the notification bell so you will never miss out on any of our weekly content. And if you're a returning subscriber, if you're a returning viewer, you're, you're welcome. Please continue to stay in touch and continue to support us by watching, sharing, and liking. Um, here we talk about agile, we talk about project management, product development, you have different agile ways of working. You know, we just share ideas to help us continuously learn and expand in this agile space. And just so you know, this is the safest place where you can fail and learn and share your tips and no one is judging you. So please feel free to leverage that comment section and drop your thoughts regarding this topic. Okay, now let's go into the topic of today. What are some of the things that you should never say in your interview? That is, if you want to be successful with your interview, which if you say these things, you will definitely fail your interview for the most part. Number one, never ask your interviewer, what do you do here? What do you people do here? Are you kidding me? You must have done your homework already to learn about what the industry is into or what the company is into. You coming across as what do you do here? You're already telling them that you're very unserious and you've not done any homework. And why should anyone bring someone like you in the organization? Don't do that. Yes, it's okay to ask this kind of question, but the way you put it really matters. You want to come across like you have done your homework, you've learned about this and this and this and this, and you're looking to know more. That's how you want to come across. Secondly, don't ever tell your interviewer that you don't have any experience in the role you're interviewing for. Are you serious? Who will want to hire someone that has no understanding? I mean, they are bringing you into the organization, especially as an agile practitioner. They are paying you a lot of money. So who will want to be paying someone that kind of money to come and use the organization as their guinea pig? Nobody will want to do that. So never come, never say you don't have any experience in the role you're interviewing for. You will fail the interview, okay? You, yes, you want to be honest, but you are not the most sincere in the whole world. You must have gone for some, let's say if it's an agile role, you must have gone for some agile training before having a certification, which is why you need a mentor so that they can walk you through the experience on the day-to-day -day of a scrub master, for example, so that you have some experience. And let's say if you're interviewing for another role, let's say a nurse practitioner, you must have gone to school you must have done some clinical before even graduating to become a nurse. So that is some of the experience you have. Whatever the role is, if you truly have no understanding, get yourself a mentor, someone that has walked the path already, someone that can walk you through their experience and you have an opportunity to practice this thing. That is how you gain the experience. Unless, if these people are taking you for that role, which you already told them you don't have experience, unless they have no choice. And hardly ever will there be a role that no one has any experience on. Hardly ever, you know. So do not say that in an interview because it will not help you, okay? The third thing that you should never, ever say in an interview is, if they ask you, why are you interviewing for this role? And then you're telling them, well, you're interviewing for this role because you, you, you only want a remote opportunity. You only want to work remotely. You don't want to go into any office. You want 100% you want remote. Hmm. You're also telling them that you want more money. Are you kidding me? <laughs> We all want more money. True. That is really true. But that should not be what you will be saying to an interviewer if they're asking you, why are you interviewing for a role? 
there is a better way to put it. You can say something like you want more growth opportunity and you've learned about the organization. You've seen that they have a high potential for someone like you to, to as you're bringing in what you have as an asset, you will also be partnering with the team to continuously learn and grow on your career ladder. You see, instead of saying that you want more money. <laughs> no, and then, you also don't want to say something like um, you want the role because you, you've heard that they re reimburse for, for, for tuition. Hmm. This is not the kind of things you should be saying in this kind of question. You should be telling them the things that will benefit them instead of the things that will benefit you. Yes, you can touch on some of the things that will benefit you, but you should way more towards the things that will benefit them on why you are interviewing for the role, you see. Yes, you don't also want to come across as everything, every reason why you are interested in the role is benefiting them because that will not come across as some, someone that knows their value. So you want to come across as, you want to balance it, but way more towards the things that will benefit them first before you. You see, now, last but not the least, you should never, ever, ever speak negative to your interviewer about your previous employer. Even if you've had terrible experiences about your previous em employer, your, 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 your co-workers, don't share it with your interviewer. Don't share it. Don't tell them that my boss was terrible. My boss was a micromanager, even if it's true. <laughs> Keep that to yourself. You don't do that because these people will now already start making a negative perception of you. And they would already start thinking, okay, or judging to say, okay, so it means that when you, you, you finally leave this organize our organization, you will also speak the same way of us. So who will want that kind of person? No, nope, don't speak like that about your, your previous employer. If it's really negative experience, please keep it to yourself. Keep that to yourself. And again, regarding the remote role, the reason why you should never tell an interviewer that you're only looking for 100% remote role, especially even if that remote role, even if you're interviewing for a remote role, it's written there 100%. Don't give that as a reason why, why um, you're joining their company. Please get over it, especially for scrum roles, agile practitioner roles. Agile wasn't designed to be remote. Agile value pers in-person conversation, face-to-face -face conversation and collaboration. That is for us agilists, we, we, that is a, one of the biggest ways to establish a strong relationship with people. The agile wasn't designed for 100% remote role. So because of COVID and because of the way the world is shifting now, most people are beginning to think that it's okay to, to say that openly and or only want an agile, role, an agile role that is fully remote. It's not okay. Get over it. Get over it. Agile wasn't designed like that. So if you're that kind of person who wants to only remain behind your computer in their house, agile is not for you. Even if that is truly your desire and which is why you are interviewing for remote roles, yes, but hardly ever would it be a remote role that you would never, ever have to go into the office. Hardly ever, unless the, the industry or the company has, hasn't established an, uh, um, a virtual, uh, an in-person office yet. Before, you would only be doing that kind of work and it's gonna be temporal. There'll be times when you will need to come into the office and meet people. There'll be times when you have to have physical conference meetings. There'll be times when you need to have um, team building meetings face to face, you know? So if they need, th these people are looking for someone that they know that if they need someone to be there in person for whatever emergency, you will be able to make it. You will be able to do that sacrifice if it's a sacrifice for you and come into the office, okay? So even if your desire is 100% remote role, please don't say that to an interviewer. You will fail the interview. So again, these are the four tips for today on the things that you should never say in your interview or how to really fail an interview. I hope this is helpful. Again, if you have other tips to share with us, please 
use that comment section and drop your thoughts so that we can continuously learn and grow together. One of my mentees actually said this to me. <laughs> um so when i'm encouraging them in class to share ideas and then she said in the background so that we can continuously learn and grow together <laughs> i thought that was really funny anyway thank you so much and have an amazing rest of your day bye